Hello again everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. We are back here in Hrodolf's house. I returned to Hrodolf's house uh, and we have found a passage underneath uh, the earth here. Sounds like there's some Dwemer stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of Dwemer stuff going on down here. Uh, no, no wonder he was hearing some calls from the deep. That's Bjorn Alpha. Oh no. She must... He, he, he must have came for... Is Rodolf for him? There might be a, 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 a gay couple. I'm not. I, I, I just assume that it's a male and female, but no. There might be a gay couple, I don't know. Let's check the bloodstain letter, though. Obviously, obviously uh, Bjorn Alpha came for Rodolf and met their demise as a result, which I am quite saddened by. Bjorn, do not come to this place. I have not much self left. The earth will take us both. H. Oh no. Oh, these guys met a very nasty fate, didn't they? A very nasty fate. The poor, poor soul. Is there anything else actually down here, or is this it? If this is it, where is Rodolf? If I sit in this chair, does something happen? I don't know. If I stare intensely enough at this, uh, at this, at this... That shadow is scary, but I know it's just Serana. Hi there. Alright then. Hmm. Well, there's nothing actually behind here or any further down, or any much, anything else to explore, it looks like, so. Yeah. I mean, sad for, for Vyarnolf, right? I just. I don't know where Rodolf's body is. Unless it was Mirak, but I don't think it would have been, would it? Could have been Mirak. Hmm. Very, very strange. Oh well, let's head back up to Solstheim for now. And let's continue on to the fort, Fort Frostmoth. We're just literally going back here to check a, um, to check a note, which I missed last time round. Which may have, which may explain why the captain ended up the way he did. Would be nice to get a bit of clarity on that one, like because I don't really know how the captain was ma how the captain managed to be alive for as long as he, as long as he was. Also, I probably shouldn't use my bow and arrows on these guys. It's a bit of a waste. And then Ebony is the way to go, I think. Because they are spawn in weak, but they're not like use your best arrows immediately level of uh, strong, you know. Okay. Let's clamber into Fort Frostmoth if we can. Yeah, there we go. Right, so best way to go in, I don't know. Um This one? We'll go in this one. It was n it was near the room with all the spiders anyway. I do know that for a fact. Oh my god! Hello. This might be the uh, one we the area we need being smacked by another later as well. There we go, well, we got level 77 at least. Right, um, what do we want? Health, magic, stamina. I'm going to go for a bit more health. Just gonna say that one. Uh, let's check our usual um, abilities. I need to start doing more training as well. Like, I, I really do. Oh no, it's, it's gonna bite me in the ass, right? Bladesman. That always is a good one to pick, I think. 
That's war axes. We don't want war axes. Um, archery. Nope. No. Power shots. Yeah, that works. Good times. Plentiful healing. I'm not going to bother with the minor ones at this point. Everything hiding away down here? No. Yeah, there is a pretty good bit of this fort that we never actually checked, isn't there? Silly me. Silly, silly me. I'm guessing it's in here. Yeah, this looks this looks promising. Eldari's journal, knapsack. The key in there as well. There is satchel. Uh, I just gotta check the rest of this place before. I'm just being damaged by inanimate objects now, very rude. Right, Eldar's journal. Right. Day 32, it's been almost a month since unearthing the crypt of Fort Frostmoth, and I haven't seen a single spark of life in the general's remains. Grafting the heartstone to the subject is proving much more difficult than I originally anticipated. Uh, I've used almost every method I can think of and still there's no sign of reanimation. At this rate, I, it could be years before I make any progress, which is time that I just can't afford right now. If my vengeance is to come to fruition, I need results. If not, I may need to resort to more drastic measures. Day 47, so this is uh, 15 days later. It finally appears that I'm making some progress. After my latest experiment, General Carius' eyes briefly opened and he moved his arms. It lasted for less than a few moments, but it's the first sign of progress I've seen I've seen since I arrived here. A few of my assistants were insisting that I was imagining things, but I dismissed them for their insolence. They won't be bothering anyone ever again. Oh god. Day 55, General Carius awoke fully today that he bolted upright after my incantations and began staggering around like a blind man. He seemed to ignore my commands, in fact hearing my voice seemed to increase his hostility. I was able to remove the hearthstone before he became violent, but this isn't a result that I expected. Even though he's able to be awakened, I feel as though the real work has just begun. Day 59, the General is still unable to unwillingly, unable or unwilling to listen to my commands. He's acting increasingly paranoid and appears to have his own free will. He's convinced that I am a spy or the enemy, and I've had to restrain him to prevent him from outright attacking me. This is becoming intolerable. I'm beginning to wonder if someone with a heartstone can be commanded at all. If my experiments with, the gen with General Carius fail, I may have to resort to self-experimentation, something I've been avoiding for a long time. Self-experimentation? Oh dear me, that's not good. So, did she try and put a heartstone in herself? Does that just sound like an absolute catastrophe? I'm not gonna lie. So, was that what happened? The general was the general was reanimated and essentially just had no sense of self control or was just generally very violent. Interesting. Also, how the hell do I get out of this place now? Um, wow, that was super easy. I'm, I'm well embarrassed, I'm not going to lie. Okay, let's, uh, let's take our leave again. Let's skedaddle out of here. If I can find the door again, of course. There it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have to decide what we want to pursue next. So we have the Ghost of the Tribunal. I don't know where that is, uh, Falthars. Falthars is up north of Raven Rock. Um, we also have these areas around here, the Ashfell Citadel, and we have Telmithrin to the east as well. We do need to go to Tel... Do we need to go? I don't think we have anything, any good reason to go to Telmithrin. Um, but... Yeah, okay. I am going to focus on doing surf calls, because I do feel like I need to, um, still attempt to keep the... the counselor safe, let's be honest. Do it to sort of properly foil this plot against them. So I might make my way to Ashfell or Citadel, and I'm once I'm there, if I can properly get back there, I might go to Telmithra after that as well. Let's get indoors. Because I believe those guys are Telvani. 
They live in Talmithrin. Which, I guess, would make sense given the name. Okay, just check out the general area though. There's a lot of stuff to the north and the east. So we'll have a wander around this area, see what we can pick up. Um, the atmosphere is absolutely miserable here though, isn't it, by the way? Like, there's, 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 there's no real other way to properly describe it. It is miserable. There is Ash Hopper's Galore, which is always nasty and sweet. There we go. No decent things to loot from them, really, is the no, there isn't. Okay. So there's a fort just on this hill here. So let's go and have a wander over there. What is this? An Imperial? An Imperial wearing very dwarven armor. Very angry looking Imperial as well. An Imperial wearing dwarven armor wearing currently jewel wielding axes. I'm not gonna lie, it's yeah, it's not it's not something you see every day. It's not something you see every day at all. It's a different one that one. Don't know why he's so angry. I'm assuming he's got his reasons. But uh yeah, right, let's check it check this house first. We'll kinda of work our way from there. So we've got tons we can investigate around this around this place now. I think we have the Mirax Temple on our map now as well, or our compass, sorry. Wait, what's this? Ramshackle Trading Post. Such a ramshackle trading post, I don't think anyone actually trades here anymore. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. It's around here, isn't it? It's around, it's, um... Am I getting worse? It was literally just... The irony of having the perk to actually have the uh, lockpick start, ne start near the correct location. If I didn't have that perk, it would have been bang on the correct location. Huh. <laughs> There's no basement hidden here or anything, is there? No. Nothing on the map. Nothing hidden away. Doesn't look like it, does it? No, it's... There's only, only really that strong box that was here, really, of any import, I think. Right, we'll check this fort that's on the hill. It's a weird sound effect. Uh, yeah, we'll check this fort on the hill and see what awaits us there. See if we can get any more items or quests or anything from this place. Oh, just clear out a fort. That works, too. A, bu a bird spriggan? Oh my god, really? I mean, he's currently zapping. I was going to say he was zapping me. He was zapping me with fire there, but he was doing pretty much nothing. But he did also just seem to explode into a blazing inferno, which is never nice. There we go. Okay. Definitely an enemy here. Um, just not too sure exactly where else they are. That tower seems mostly inaccessible. Can we, can we get down? If we go this way, it should be easy enough, shouldn't it? I'm hoping Serana will find it easy enough to follow me. Why the hell do you have to go to actually unlock this location? My god, it's so random. Ah, there we go, we found it. More Ashborn, delightful. One Ashy boy. Oh, there is another one. Yeah, these guys ain't, ain't no match for uh, Torment. Despite the fact they just fire damage, which is pretty much exactly what they're strong strong against, but still, the just the general power of the sword is just too much. It's too much. It's a weird little formation they've got going on there, isn't there? Right, so High Point Tower. There is a door, apparently, to High Point Tower. 
I do wonder if this might be like uncovered at a later point potentially. Like the door's meant to be there. Because at this point it doesn't look like there's a way in. And I'm pretty sure the area above was pretty much bereft of any sort of entrance as well, wasn't it? What I could see at least. I'm trying out to take the most convoluted way to get up there to be honest as well. Uh, let me just walk around. You do get some very weird, like, just ominous noises when you're walking around Solstheim, don't you? You hear, like, random howls and whirls and breezes and stuff. It's, it's a little bit strange. I mean, the atmosphere in Morrowind has always been strange, to be fair, but... Yeah, I don't think there's a way in here. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no way in. That's fine. That is fine. Right. Let us continue uh, east, shall we? Since that was where we were originally intending to go. We got slightly sidetracked. Let's check our position on the map. If you look at it, we are making decent progress across the map already. Like, obviously, we, we, we have tons left to discover, obviously, but... Powers can only be used once a day. Well, damn it. Ah, so dragon aspect is counted as a as a power as opposed to uh, once it that is once a day. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what do we want? How about we do slow time? Yeah, do slow time. Slow time works just fine for me. Be quick save just in case. Right, remind me, guys, as well. If I find a trainer, you have just any kind, pretty much at this point. I need I, I need to take them up. doing uh, yeah because I need to maximize my chance of getting to level 80 I'm still three levels off and I might get that while I'm in Solstheim but if I don't I'd be devastated I really would because I because I really I really want to fight the Ebony Warrior like the Ebony is this our shop invisible or that Ash Hopper was seemingly invincible N not not invincible, sorry, invisible. Yeah. Unusual. I don't like that one. Oh, no, no, hello. There's pretty much no reason for me to even be going around and harvesting this Nona anymore, but it's just so fun. Oh, what on earth has happened here? And why do I probably not even want to know? I mean, genuinely, I, I, I do... Let me slow, slow time down here a bit. So I can brutalize these ash spawn. You as well. And that slow time uh, ability works very well indeed there. Okay, are we clear? I think, I think we're clear for now. Ash spawn and 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 they drop spawn ash. <laughs> right, this is dead reaver. That chest as well with a load of gems in. Okay. Right. So we are near the place to meet up with the Redoran Guard. I'm somewhat tempted to go down to tell Mithrin first. You know, I think I will. Yeah, I'll ch I'll check what this stone is, and then I'll, w I'll walk to tell Mithrin. I'm presuming the people who tell Mithrin are going to be friendly, um, because they are going to be done there, at least. So you would hope they're going to be friendly enough, but we'll see. This is another one of these dodgy stones. This is the Sunstone. Is this people who sleep in Talmithrin? He grows ever near. Oh, these guys are Reavers. Reaver Outlaw, Reaver Outlaw. Yeah, these are all Reavers. Our hands once were right. Who is this Mirak guy? And why is he so goddamn creepy? And what is he doing to these people as well? Ugh. Right, well for now guys I'm going to end this episode here, next episode we shall go down to Talmithrin and see now, what we can discover in that settlement. 
and leave these Reavers to do their mining or whatever it is they're doing over there. Yeah. Right, on that note, guys, I shall catch you all in the next episode of Skyrim. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.